Hey kids, it's Mr. Adam here. Today, we're gonna discuss the water cycle, something so important we all depend on it to live. Recently, on a ski trip up in the mountains, my kids asked me, Where does all the snow come from, Dad? I told them it comes from the clouds and it's all part of the water cycle. So first, let's look at what the water cycle actually is. The water cycle is the process that is vital for sustaining life on Earth by providing water to plants, animals, and even us humans through evaporation, condensation, and precipitation. So let's have a look at some of those big words. Evaporation. Our sun is so hot that it can turn water into vapor. Now this is called evaporation. Evaporation also happens when plants and trees transpire into the air. It's kind of like the plants and trees are sweating. Next, we have condensation. Once those water vapors rise high enough in the air where it's cold, they turn back into liquid. Now this is known as condensation. This same thing happens when you pour a cold drink into a glass on a warm day. You'll notice condensation forming on the outside of your cup. Condensation occurs when water droplets form due to cooling air, like morning dew or fog or clouds. Those are all examples of condensation. Next in the water cycle, we have precipitation. When condensation droplets form together, eventually they get heavy. Now Earth has gravity, which pulls objects back down. When those droplets get too heavy, they fall back to Earth in either liquid form, the rain, or solid form, snow, sleet, or hail. The temperature of the atmosphere will determine which form the precipitation will take. Lastly, we have runoff. After precipitation falls to the earth, it either gets absorbed into the soil, evaporates, or becomes surface runoff. Runoff is the excess water that flows over the land and makes its way to places where water collects, like lakes, rivers, or the ocean. Here the water is heated by the sun, and the cycle starts all over again. To better understand the water cycle, we decided to make a mini water cycle. First, we drew a picture of the ocean, clouds, and sun on the outside of a sandwich bag. Next, we poured in some water and some blue food coloring. Then we taped the bags to a window that gets lots of sun. We watched our bag throughout the week to see if we could observe evaporation, condensation, and precipitation in action. We couldn't actually see evaporation happening, but we could see the condensation forming, clumping together, and then falling like rain down the side of the bag. This was a fun and easy experiment that you can do at home with your parents to demonstrate the water cycle. If you have a subject you're interested in learning more about, let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe for more great videos.